Francis Xavier. See the way you laugh. Francis, not be too talk at you. The Social Economic Rights and Accountability Project, SERAP, has gone to court to seek an order of mandamus to direct and compel the Senate President, Godswin Lakbabiu, and the Speaker of the House of Reps, Tajuddin Abbas, to review and reduce the 40 billion naira budgeted for 465 SUVs and bulletproof cars for their members. SERAP will be joining us this morning to throw more light on this on the breakfast. They say it takes two to tango. This is even more so when it comes to making babies. But a situation where single mothers are made to carry the burden alone has become worrisome, especially as it seems there are no specific laws to address this. So this morning, we'll be looking at the need of mandating fathers to provide child support. We'll also be having off the press where we'll take a look at the major headlines that made it to the front pages of some national dailies this morning. Our analyst is ready to tear them apart as always. Good morning and welcome to The Breakfast. I am Maureen Menongwe Zigwe. And I am Nyamgul Agaji. We sincerely apologize for beginning a little bit late, but we do hope that you're still going to have a wonderful time being with us this morning. Well, this morning promises to be very, very interesting. And uh, we're talking about some things that uh, might, you might be able to relate with, some that you might want to hear. Uh, like uh, we're talking about um, what is happening in the National Assembly and the challenge they're getting, and also what happens at the family front mm -hmm. uh, where some people just abandon uh, their children because um, of a divorce, because of uh, whatever the reason is, but some people become um, single mothers, and then not only are they single mothers, but they have, are made to take the entire burden of raising these children. So no matter what, no matter how, how good the person might be, how comfortable the woman might be, uh, whoever is also responsible for the children should contribute in some way to the raising of these children. Yes, child abandonment is, is, is a major thing in the world today. Mm -hmm. uh, but even worse so in Nigeria, because, I mean, we know what happens in some of the climes where child support is taken seriously by the government. Mm -hmm. So the father in the picture is made to take responsibility and pay certain sum mandatorily to the woman for the upkeep of the children. Mm -hmm. But here in Nigeria, it's not the case. It's not the case. The men, a lot of men, uh, abandon their children um, and leave everything to the woman to just cater to the needs of the, the, the poor children. And so, because we, in this part of the world, they believe that at the end of the day, the children will always look for their father, mm -hmm. so they just roam yeah. around, and, and, and at the end of the day, children actually do look for their fathers, right? Yeah. But then, what does that say about you as a man? No matter what you are, no matter how successful you claim to be, if you are an irresponsible father, if you failed in the home front, you are a total failure. Yeah, where, where, where else? Failure. Where else? You, uh, the Bible says you're worse than any, an infidel mm -hmm. if you cannot provide for your family and all that. So no matter what the reason for the separation might be, whether it was bitter or, or whether it was sweet, whether it was uh, mutually agreed upon and all that, the children had no say in it <laughs> as it is. So uh, for them to suffer what uh, was the problem between you and the woman, it doesn't make real sense to me. Uh, but anyway, when we are looking at this thing, we'll be looking at both ways, though. Because when we say some fathers are not responsible, we should also know that some mothers are not responsible. Definitely. So whoever contributed to making a baby should also contribute to sustaining that baby. Yes, but even though today we'll be taking a look at specifically women. and getting the fathers mm. to support the children financially. Mm -hmm getting them to support the children financially because we know i mean the rates are higher 
if you want to compare single mothers to single fathers, the rates are higher. You, mm -hmm. it's, it, you find more single mothers than you would find single fathers. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, we also know that men are usually more economically sound in most cases than mm -hmm. women. No, it's true. That's the case. I haven't said because, anything. I'm yeah, just smiling. Because sometimes you find a situation where the women had to give up their careers to just stay home for some time, yeah. make the babies for both of them. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, the marriage fails. So she has to start all over to build her life True. and also then double up and act as both mother and father. So it's a very dire situation for the mothers involved. So it's a very situ uh, serious matter that we're going to be taking a look at today. And hopefully the governments in the country, I'm not talking about federal now, governments across the states, you know, across the country, uh, will take up this battle mm. and make sure. Because if the family fails, the society fails. And mm. we're seeing so many ills in our societies today. And if you look critically, you, you may not... Uh, it may not be so far-fetched from the homes, where the homes are failing so much these days. The, the, divorce of, the rate of divorce uh, cases on the increase, and you wonder, how did our parents do it? How did they manage to hold it together? Mm. Yeah, well, that would be a matter for another day, but yeah. today, <laughs> let's just look at what the top trending is. You might want to take the first one. Yes, Kano revokes license of all private schools in the state. The government says, Certificates of all private schools operating in the state have been revoked with immediate effect. And special advisor to the governor on private and voluntary institutions, Baba Abubakar Umar, announced the decision at a meeting with the proprietors of the private schools. Umar said all the schools are expected to collect new registration forms to fill for new certificates to be issued. He said the move was part of the state government's comments towards your well, commitment towards sanitizing the operations of private schools and to ensure adherence to established laws and guidelines. He charged the proprietors to pay their 10% tax to the government and as it went due for the progress of the sector, adding that his return to the position of managing the private schools should not spark fears, saying he's not out to victimize anyone. And speaking on behalf of the proprietors, the chairman, National Association of Private School Owners, Kanusti Chapter, Mohammed Malam Adamu, described the move as fantastic and commendable as it will further boost the education sector in the state. What are they going to do when the people come back to re-register that they cannot do when they're still there and sanitize the whole thing? Why wouldn't they just say they want to make more revenue? Exactly. Because that's what I'm thinking that's about. If, if there's yeah. anyone that is not complying with whatever laid down rules they are, close it down and let others be. Or give them time and say, after X, Y, Z time, we're going to close you down if you don't comply with this. But you have to take all their certificates and then they'll re-register. Yeah, so uh, it tells you something else. Okay, the second one is uh, that uh, the IG, that's the Inspector General of Police, uh, is to establish a special intervention squad. Uh, he's the acting Inspector General of Police anyway. He has not been confirmed yet. Kayode Betokum, and he has announced plans to establish a special intervention squad to deal with security uh, threats in the country. He disclosed this when he led the police force uh, management team on a courtesy call uh, to Governor Abba Yusuf of Kano State on Saturday at Government House. He solicited support from the Kano State government uh, in order to drive this process to succeed um, because he said Kano is one of the pilot states and Egberto Kun said that the need for the new squad could not be overemphasized as its success would depend on the cooperation and support the police got from the Kano State government. Okay, so now um, he's calling it a special intervention squad and I don't know, is there anything in the name because Will it be different from the SARS that brought the problems mm -hmm. of NSARS? Because whenever there's a special intervention squad, yeah. it is the same orientation they give to them. You are special. You need to do this. Yes, they do the work, but sometimes they overstep. 
And that's why we had extrajudicial killings. That's why we had unlawful detentions. That's why we had uh, what some people felt was, uh, was witch hunt and all that. And then you are just young, you have braided hair or you have a tattoo, you're being arrested and all yeah, those kind of things. Yes. on your way so, to wherever. So w what marked difference will this special intervention squad have from the SARS that people cried about? I guess one can just but only hope that they've learned from the SARS story and experiences and all that came out from the shortcomings from that squad yeah. and that they will reorientate these set of special squads mm -hmm. to do better yeah. having experienced the SARS tragedy. I mean, so police should be police. There are the people who should be trained or who are trained supposedly to be able to relate with the civilian population. So they should, they should have better social skills. They should have better intelligence gathering and all that so that they stop harassing people because that was the bone of contention. You don't see me, uh, they say you can't judge a book from its cover. You just see me how I look and you f I fit the profile that you think I should fit and then you start to harass me. Special intervention squads are good, but let them stop overstepping. If that can be done, even if they want to have 10 of them, I, I am for it. Mm -hmm. But they have special re rapid response squad. They have so many other squads. What is special about the special squad that others cannot do? Well, I just don't know. No, we are not the police people. <laughs> we just need them to okay. be our friend, as mm -hmm. we've been told that yeah. they are. Yeah. Or you're watching The Breakfast. We'll be back to give you off the press. Stay with us. <laughs>